Hey everyone, this is TG from ToyGander.com and today we're going to be reviewing some Justice League minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a gander. <laughs> Guys, before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to Ollie. Ali was the winner of the last video contest we had. So fantastic job, Ali, being the first person to post that in the comments below. And I also want to give a shout out to Ryan Does Stuff 123. Thank you so much for posting a video including Toy Gander in it. It's greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay. First up, we got Spider, not Spider Man, Superman. And you guys probably have already seen this in a couple sets, but uh, I thought it was a really cool one. It's a standard. You gotta have Superman inside Justice League. So we'll go ahead, no exceptions here. I really like this version of Superman. He's a lot different than like the, the traditional Lego Superman. He has a very metallic looking um, suit on. And also there's a little bit of metallic paint on the S. Now one of the funny things about these these minifigures. Now these these are boot Legos. These boot Legos come with. Uh, you try this again. Maybe this one will fit a little bit better. There we go. So one one of the things that included are included in all these these minifigures. They always include like three extra hands. And uh, one of the funny things for this one, he includes a wrench. Now, why in the world would Superman need a wrench? To fix his car, of course. I have no idea. Let's put his hair on. Good looking hair. Oh, that was a messed up one, I think. Let's get this one on. This is a tight fit on these. All right, oh, I forgot to keep two. I'm fumbling all over the place. Now, one thing I've noticed, and this is not just with these knockoff uh, figures, but it's also with Lego, they changed the, the the feeling of these capes. Instead of being more of like a felt material, they changed it to this more durable material, which is appreciated because the felt, although it was great, it absorbed dust like no other. Now let's put that air back on. We'll go ahead and give him the mean face today. Put that on. And let's not forget to put his, his uh, very awesome wrench in his hand. Come on, you Superman, you. There we go. All right, next up is Wonder Woman. Now looking at Wonder Woman on this one, this looks closer to like the Wonder Woman movie. If you guys have seen the trailer for that, really cool trailer. And this is Batman versus Superman Wonder Woman in this one, I believe. But I, I'm digging the look on this one. Much more real life and just a realistic appearance on this Wonder Woman versus the other ones. See the back print on that? That's the smirk Wonder Woman. Luxurious hair. A whole lot of hair going on there. Now, just to give you an idea what the other one, Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, and overall, I really just enjoy this one a lot more than this one. The cartoon, cartoon look, not that great. This one just has a, a realistic look, which is exactly what's going to be happening inside the Justice League movie. Also has some arm printing on this right here, and that side. Gauntlets. And the shield. Oh yeah, the shield. Okay, this next one up is Aquaman. In general, I will say that I've never been a fan of Aquaman. However, if you've seen the trailer for the Justice League movie, they totally made Aquaman like just, he's like the, the, the cool guy in the group. He is formerly the, the nerd, but now he's totally the cool guy. And this follows through in this customized Lego here. Minifigure, sorry, it's not truly a Lego. Looking at his back print, got, he has great back print. He's got the mean face on front. 
He's got some real fine detail on his legs. And I don't know if you can see this, but his belt as well. I really enjoy this figure. Now, the, <laughs> this is the funny thing here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just put them side by side and, and let me tell you if you could notice the similarities. Yeah, that's right. They, they just duplicated Wonder Woman's hair and put it on Aquaman. Not cool, but nonetheless, it looks cool on him. And don't forget his trident. I think that's right, trident. Either that or it's a type of gum. So, bummer alert, I, I, have, I don't have a, a cool looking flash yet. I don't have a new one and a customized one. I have one on its way and I will show you guys once I get that, but until then, we'll just place this standard flash in the mix. We won't even, I mean, look at them. There's Flash. You guys probably have seen them a million times. Okay, for this next one, we are going to combine two current figures, one of them customized, one of them a traditional uh, figure. We're gonna combine them to make one cool looking cyborg. So the first one up is this, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This is the original Iron Man. I really enjoy this figure. I like it a lot. I purchased it a while ago. And I, I just thought it was awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that Iron Man, the traditional Iron Man, and we're gonna take traditional Cyborg, and we're gonna morph the two in together, and we're gonna create something way better. Okay guys, we're gonna ditch the gun. We'll just throw the hand away, because I have an extra hand. We're going to ditch these things, take off one of these arms, take off Tony Stark's head, okay? We're gonna use the torso of this Iron Man. We're also going to pop off that energy orb or arc, whatever. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it with one of these Lego uh, red pieces, the jewel pieces. So we're gonna place that on there. Now for this, we're going to take off the legs of this cyborg, put them on here, plop his head on. Now I also wanna use the other side of his head because it just looks meaner. We're gonna take the mean side. I'm aggressive, cyborg. Put it on top. Place his helmet on. And then for the creme de la creme, this custom made blaster. Now I could also probably use one of these and put that in there and that'd be equally as interesting but I just thought something a little bit more customized would fit. If you guys have ever watched Teen Titans, he always brings out that like mega sized gun on his arm. And this just kind of seemed like it fit along with him. So what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. Would you do anything different? What would you guys use instead of uh, Iron Man? Would you guys change it up at all? So somewhere on the screen, there's one figure that's just not quite right. And no, it's not this Superman, even though he is very wrong. There's some other figure somewhere on the screen that's not quite right. And the first person that figures out which one that is and posts it in the comments below, I will give you a shout out in the next video I do. So guys, that's what we have for today. I just wanna thank you so much for clicking that thumbs up button and also subscribing. We have tons of other video and content out there like this. So thank you so much, and until next time, you can help us take a gander.